Good morning, this is William McKissick with Schooly Mitchell, your expense reduction specialist. And one thing I want to note is remember that we are expense reduction specialists at Schooly Mitchell. This is not our day job. This is my part in helping the community um, to be able to promote themselves, especially during COVID, but, but moving forward, um, to promote their products and their services um, online for free. It's something at Schooly Mitchell we like to do to help the local community. And this morning I have with me Jeffrey Neil Fox. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to see you today, William. You too. And, and Jeffrey Neil Fox is the owner and CEO of FoxMarketplace.com, a promotional products company, and um, where they can put almost anything that you have on a logo or any logo on anything you have. And um, Jeff is also the CEO of It Sports Magazine. Um, and Jeff will tell us a little bit more about the magazine during the interview. So, kind of to get straight into it, Jeff, tell me a little bit about yourself and, and how you get into this business. Okay, great. Uh, again, I appreciate you taking the time to interview me today, William. You know, I'm originally from Long Island, New York, and I came down to South Florida, Tampa in 1971 to attend the University of South Florida as a student. I graduated there. I started the lacrosse team, and I got into uh, uh, publishing, and I started my own publishing company. And that's how I basically got into this company here is I, you know, I was publishing the team newspaper for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and then from there, I uh, opened up a team store where I opened up a, we had a multi-million dollar year uh, apparel business where we sold licensed merchandise for the local teams, for the NFL football franchise, the Buccaneers, for the University of South Florida, we were the official merchandiser, and then also uh, the Lightning and the Rays. And then in uh, 2012, unfortunately, we had to close down the store. You know, the internet came around and everything, and we changed our business model, and we started Fox Marketplace. Instead of having a store with a million dollars worth of merchandise, everything we do is custom. You know, mm -hmm. we don't have any inventory. Every single thing we do is custom. So uh, I get, kind of gave you the Reader's Digest version to fast forward everything. But, um, you know, we've had a rich history in Tampa from 1971 through now. Yeah, I, I remember coming to Tampa Bay as a tourist, and I remember coming to your store um, and buying some apparel. I still have a jacket, and um, have a big blanket that we use in the winter, the box jacket, and I bought them from your store. Um, and I totally understand with the dip in the economy, the changing of people's ways of shopping, how it would affect that kind of business. And, and like most businesses, you found a way to, to do it another way, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So tell me a little bit more about the Fox Marketplace and what you actually do within this, this business that you're doing now. Okay, well, Fox Marketplace is a specialty advertising and promotional company. Like you said earlier, we're able to put your logo on anything. Well, how can I say that? That's easier said than done. You know, I mean, it's not, it's not always so easy, you know, uh, although we make it easy for our clients. Uh, we, our website has a, a million uh, different things that we could put a logo on. We're, we're part of uh, Sage. We're uh, a, a distributor, a licensed, certified distributor, which we're hooked in with 4,000 suppliers of licensed merchandise. So we have robust research tools. And, and uh, my value proposition, I guess, is to, is to come up with, rec we, first of all, we can get people whatever they want, you yeah. know, whether it be apparel or merchandise, coffee cups, keychains, polos, what have you, signage. Or, or uh, uh, you know, some people might have, you know, strict marching orders or some we can, some we can go to our website and search for anything. And then again, it's our job is to make sure that the logo was put on correctly yep. and, and, and delivered on time, you know, and that's uh, always not as always as easy as it sounds. So you, you touched on like having thousands of, of outlets and, and ways of doing this. Um, can, tell me a little bit more about what sets you apart from others in the industry that's doing similar to or the same of what you're doing. Okay, well, that's a very good question because we do have some competitors and we're not an order taker, so to speak. You know, are we a commodity broker? Well, on big, huge orders, I guess we can, you know, become a commodity broker. But the, our expertise is really uh, is that we get it right. You know, my prior lifetime, I was a publisher for many years. And, and, and from there, I became an expert. My definition of expert is I know other experts. And, yeah. and, and, and when it comes to the... Uh, the graphics, my trade secret, and I'll gladly reveal it, is that I make sure my ingredients are done right. I'm sure you remember Julia Childs. I think she's from uh, from your neck of the woods over yes. here. She's a famous chef. And as a young man, I heard her say, you want to make a good dinner? It starts with good ingredients. 
I don't care what you do. If you have rancid fish and you put a fancy sauce on it, you're putting a tutu on a pig. Yeah. So, you know, so basically, you know, when, when I have a new client, I, I really evaluate their logo to make sure that it's correct. And if it's not correct, we make it correct. And what I mean by correct, we live in a digital world and, and, and a lot of times uh, uh, the logo and the graphics have to meet certain specifications. Fantastic. Um, we touched on the, the It Sports magazine when I was doing the introduction and, and I said to the, the listeners and the viewers of this that, that we would talk a little bit about it. So can you tell me a little bit about the, this dynamic website, It Sports magazine that you're involved with? Well, ever since I've been a young man, ever since I got into the publishing business, I've always owned and controlled by our own media. And, uh, and even, you know, I used to publish the Buccaneer newspaper and, and, uh, and then uh, Gear for the Game magazine. And now we have this It Sports mag. It used to be a, 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 an 80 half by 11 magazine many, many years ago, and I revived it online. And uh, we're dedicated and devoted to the sports fan, no matter where they are. And uh, right now we're doing a lot of local coverage for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, for the uh, University of South Florida Bulls, for the Lightning, for the uh, Tampa Bay Rays, uh, the Hall of uh, the Outback Bowl. Um, we actually can cover anything, the full gamut of sports, and there's a lot of room for growth in that right now. And uh, uh, we're a recognized media outlet by the NFL, so we've got a, a blowing and going, and, uh, and uh, we're looking to build that up even, even more. Fantastic. And, and I'm guessing that with the magazine, there's a lot to talk about right now because what's going on with the Buccaneers and Brady and Gronkowski, the Tampa Bay Lightning looks like they might win the, the Stanley Cup. Um, the Tampa Bay Rays are doing really well. They, they won their Eastern League. So lots to talk about, lots going on with the big sports teams here. Uh, you, you are spot on. You forgot the biggest show in the history of mankind's coming here on February 6th. The Super 7th. Bowl. It's called the Super Bowl. You know, I mean, you know, do we live in interesting times? Yes. I mean, you know, with this thing, but uh, who knows what the future uh, beholds us, but uh, I'm going to stay positive. And uh, um, I'm looking for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to play the Kansas City Chiefs uh, mm -hmm. on, on February 7th. That would be great. And, and hopefully uh, uh, this, uh, this terrible virus will be behind us and we can move forward, you know, because uh, there's one thing that Americans and the rest of the world does is they love their sports and uh and this uh, epidemic has pandemic has really created some issues with that yeah i can empathize with that just as a natural person who likes sports um when sports is back now that it's back on tv again it's fantastic you, you didn't realize how much you missed it until it came back um and especially right now i'm really excited about the tampa bay lightning um i i, I like hockey um i like the tampa bay Lightning. i'm, I'm very excited about what's going on there um, so, Jeff, tell me a little bit about what's a, what's a good fit as a client for you um, for, for your, your promotional products. Business. Well, you know, you know, our expertise is branding somebody's business, and, and somebody's brand is one of the most important things of their business, is uh, how their people think about you and their look and their slogan. And we take the time to sit down with people and understand their culture. You know, and, and, and by understanding their culture, it helps them set themselves apart. You know, uh, one of the most important things that a, a, a business person can do is not to take their clients for granted because a lot of their competitors are breathing down their neck whether they like it or not. And people are loyal, but uh, they're loyal to a degree. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I, I recommend that uh, people really hug their clients. And a lot of times that's where I come in where you can put their logo on something like let's say a Tervis tumbler or Yeti tumbler or a nice shirt or something like that, that. So people can recognize that brand. People do business with people that they know they like and they trust. And that's very important. And, uh, and, and especially in today's world, I, I also uh, encourage people to rejuvenate uh, clients that are no longer active. Things change, you know, and uh, sometimes people go away and people forget about them, but circumstances change especially if they had a good relationship with you. And then, you know, always people looking for a pipeline of new business. Well, the best pipeline of new business is to keep the business you already have. Yeah. You know, and not take that for granted. Then the second one is to rejuvenate people that are no longer active. And, and the third one is a pipeline of new business. Well, really, it should come from number one and number two. You know what I mean? So these are some of the things that I, I try to educate my, my clients from and come up with promotional items 
that fits their needs, whether they're going to a trade show, whether they want to say thank you to a client, whether they want to improve the employee morale, which is very important. We discuss that a lot because you're as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, no, well, thank you for sharing that. You can clearly see that, that you, you have the experience, you have the background, and you really know what you're doing. Um, you really understand the needs of businesses. You know what, what a real logo should look like. Um, you know how to do it properly. Um, one one kind of little kind of personal request, and I'm sure the, the viewers would like to see, can you let everybody see who the fox is? Oh, the fox is, right, well, <laughs> you know. I don't know if anybody's heard this song, but they should do a Google search. What does the fox say? Yes. It's the it's number one watch video in 2014. And it does have a subliminal message. You know, everybody has a sound. Everybody has a muse. And you need to find that. And then, because that's what helps you set you apart. And uh, from somebody just doing a Google search, you know, my biggest competitor is Google. You know, somebody yeah. says, okay, so I can get a pen on Google. Oh, you want that pen to write? You know, you know, uh, you want that logo to be, you know, to show up clearly. You know, I mean, so, you know, uh, you know, we live in a technological world. Everything we do is very high tech, but the human relationship is very important. You know, we have our hands. Yeah, you know, we use technology. We harness technology, but we also harness the human factor as well, which I don't ever think anyone should ever lose a sight of that. You know, is uh, is the, is the, how important our relationship is. And yeah. that's something that uh, as the older I get, the more important it becomes to me. Yeah, any product or service that, you, that you're delivering to, to the community, you do have to look after those relationships. I, I try to be nice to everybody and try to help everybody as much as I can. So I absolutely appreciate it. So, well, Jeff, thank you very much for sharing everything with me. Thanks for letting everybody see the fox. Um, I'm sure a lot of people will appreciate it, especially people that know you. They'll, they'll like to see that the, the Fox got on this show. So, well, Jeffrey Neil Fox, thank you very much. Um, anybody that's looking to get any promotional products done, um, or they want to find more about the it's Sports Magazine, if you look under Jeff's details, um, under his portion of the video, you'll see all his contact details there, and please reach out. Thank you, Jeff. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Hey, thank you very much, William, and I look forward to seeing everybody on my websites. Thank you. Um, and I'll now hand it over to Dave for the weather.